Chess Hockey Show. I'm the Trev. It's too sweet. Anyway, I feel like we should address this. We've been following the Coyotes for pretty much the entirety of the channel. And since this, this channel's been in inception, we've covered a few things when it comes to them. I mean, we went over when Morello bought the team and then getting the boot from Glendale to now playing at ASU for the moment. So yeah, I mean, being it's still relevant to the topic, why not, right? City of Tempe rejected three proposals to build a $2.1 billion entertainment structure, which would have included a new arena for the Arizona Coyotes. So what does this mean for them long term? Well, let's do what we do best. Let's talk about it. So let's start off with the fundamentals, really. This $2.1 billion entertainment district, this is the proposed rendering of it that I'm showing you, would have been paid for privately. No taxpayer money would have been used to pay for this. Now, there was opposition to this from the get-go, and after initial ballots had been counted and whatever else, they had a double-digit lead over those in favor of an entertainment district and a new arena for the Arizona Coyotes. Now, of course, this was also after the fact <clears throat> that the city of Phoenix and Sky Harbor International Airport expressed their concerns about residences that were part of the project in a high-noise area under the airport's flight path. So, I guess if they're making concerns about the noise. <clears throat> but at the same time, Anything is better than what they're playing in now. And this would have been a great thing for the Coyotes if they landed a new arena deal and had that 30-year lease because well, three buildings in the club's history. Because you got to remember, they played somewhere else before they played at ASU. I mean, when they relocated from Winnipeg, there was America West Arena, which they played in from 96 to 2003. Then playing at Gila River Arena from 2003 to 2021. And then uh, once more, playing at the well below NHL capacity and still under contract for two with an option for a third year ASU Arena in Tempe, Arizona. So playing from Phoenix and then playing in Glendale and then playing in Tempe, you're essentially relocating within the state to hopefully balance something out of me. This is just another one of those ongoing sagas that's been the problem of the Coyotes since they relocated from Winnipeg in 1996. They've been losing money ever since they set foot there. They've already declared bankruptcy in 2009. The NHL owned them from 2009 to 2013. They've gone through two sets of owners since then. And now they're playing at a well below capacity NHL arena. Should we be surprised? No. But not all hope is lost, because according to the team officials, they have said that they remain dedicated to the desert as best as they can. And I mean, that's ultimately you're just saying the right thing at the right time, right? So while it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of options left, there's one option they could explore. It's a bit of a long shot, but you could see it through. It might just take some time. They could move back down to Phoenix and play at the Footprint Center which used to be the America West Arena. The problem is, Footprint Center is basketball ready, not NHL ready. So they would have to go undertake some serious renovations. Would they want to do that is the biggest question. And like I was saying, it's a bit of a long shot, but it's an avenue worth exploring because the only other avenue you have takes hockey out of the desert entirely. Well, out of Arizona anyway. You'll never take hockey out of Nevada. Sorry, it's working way too well. Now, while both the league and the team have expressed disappointment, and understandably so, the Coyotes have committed to playing next season at ASU Arena. And rightfully so. I mean, you're still contracted to the ASU for a couple years of the still. And it's very unlikely you'll get that option year, considering you can't even sell out a 5,000-seat arena. But 
I think at this point the writing is pretty much on the wall. It's just a matter of when they decide to pack the bus and go somewhere else. And really, I mean, I know I'm going to get a lot of heat for this, I'll just say it anyway. Show me an ownership group in Quebec that wants to upset the NHL's political division's balance. And maybe we'll consider a team in Quebec. The problem is, who's going to own them? But you have a few cities stateside that are quite willing, ready, and able to take on an NHL team if they so chose to. There's Houston, which would be a nice natural rival for Dallas, which has an NHL capacity of 17,800 people. Now, if the right person took over the team and decided they wanted to actually make it competitive, you could sell 17,000, no problem, and actually made that team competitive on a consistent basis, you know, compared to what the Coyotes have been the last couple seasons. But there's Houston, or there's Kansas City, which has an NHL-ready arena with a capacity of 17,544. Now, again, same thing. Right person wants to actually start winning and make a team competitive on a consistent basis. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Now, me personally, and I've been saying this for a very long time, just move them to Houston already. The sooner the better. You know, make it easy for everybody involved. Start fresh for a third time. I mean, there's no shame in it. It's not that it hasn't happened before. Who knows, they might actually succeed in a market where there's an interest. Because, I mean, really, apparently there's none in Arizona. Just ask Tempe. Now, I'm not saying there's no fans in Arizona. But what I am saying is, you know, maybe it's just a case of a lot of the city is right, you know, that they just can't support a market or a team that just has no track record of being successful. I mean, again, they've lost money since they've relocated there. How much longer does the NHL want to put up with this? I mean, if the decision of Tempe doesn't t decide to say, hey, we have to shift things, we have to make it change, I don't know what will. But either way, it, it's got to happen sooner rather than later. Just get the Coyotes out of Arizona. Put them wherever you have to. Just make it easy. Make it as seamless as possible. I mean, how much longer do we need to keep talking about the Coyotes? Now, I know a lot of you will say, well, they should have moved them a long time ago. Hey, I'm not disagreeing. Not by any stretch of the imagination. You just got to understand the business side of stubborn people. You know, if there's a, a buck to be made somewhere, they're going to make it. Unfortunately, they're not making it in Arizona. And yeah, they should have moved a while ago, but they haven't. Again, this should set the tone that it's the only real thing that will save this franchise, other than folding it outright, and I don't think the NHL wants to actually contract a franchise. Not if they can help it. So let me know your thoughts on the current Arizona Coyote situation. Another bunch of hockey shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture. Especially if you've made it right here. And if you have, oh, that's an amazing thing. I really do appreciate it. But if you have made it here, if you dig what I'm doing or you just want to say hey, give me a thumbs up. That red button, it's down there somewhere. The one that says subscribe all over it. Come on, you know you want to. We're really making the climb to 250, so let's make that happen. It'll make you feel good. So let's do it up. That social light I never use. Yeah, it's in the description down below still. So moving forward. Well, I was going to start my Seattle Kraken review today, but I'm going to push that off till tomorrow. Start then. But either way, in the meantime, in the meantime, you're looking for videos from the Trev. Later.